What's going on you guys? Welcome back to 3D Print Farm. Today I'm really excited to present to you the Frozen Sonic Mini. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to 3D Print Farm again today. I am so excited to show to you the brand new Sonic Mini from Frozen. This machine is totally awesome. You know, when I read the information about this machine and what it was capable of, I was just ecstatic. So check this out. First and foremost, before we even get into anything about what this machine can do, I want you to look at this vat okay it is a plastic vat but it is see-through now how cool is that I know a lot of you have been asking well how can I watch my print when it's still down in the ooze here well this is a transparent red vat which is really cool looks like you can change the FEP out there are some uh, looks like some screws back here that you can swap the FEP out with so that's pretty stinking cool. And not only that, but this little guy sports not an RGB LCD screen, but it is a monochrome LCD screen. And if you guys are not familiar with the difference between RGB and a monochrome screen is, I'm telling you, this monochrome screen, which is black and white, will cure your prints extremely fast. We're talking like 1.5 to 2 seconds per layer. Frozen has told me that this screen will average around 2,000 hours of usage. That's compared to 800 hours of usage that you normally see on an Elgu Mars or an Anycubic Photon. So you're going to get almost three times the use out of this one screen versus an RGB screen. Now, granted, these screens are not cheap, but they will sell replacements. The construction on this thing uh, is amazing. I mean, if you guys are familiar with any of the frozen uh, printers, the plate is looks like it's sanded. It's steel all the way around. Uh, it fits on here really easily. Uh, yeah, the machine is is really solid. It uses a an LED array, which is, again is another another bonus for this machine. Uh, it comes with this cool box of goodies, which is your, you know, your obligatory uh, manual. Comes with a funnel, a plastic scraper, a mask, some purple nitro gloves, the power supply, metal scraper, and I thought this was like fake eyebrows or something like that, but it is not. It is actually little rubber feet that go on the bottom of this. So there's a couple spots here uh, where the rubber feet go. So again, this is metal on the bottom. There's plastic all the way around. It looks like the USB uh, connector is where the USB drive plugs in is right here onto the side. Power button is in the back. And again, this rail is super solid, uh, appears to be super solid. And again, this is a monochrome, monochrome LCD screen. I got a couple bottles, 500 milliliter bottles of frozen aqua green. So we're gonna be printing some prints today with aqua green. We're going to see how fast this dude prints here. So let's get started, shall we? So what I'm going to do is I've plugged the printer in. I'm going to reach behind it here and flip on the switch. And we're going to wait for it to boot up. See the frozen logo. So I have a print button, uh, tools and an info. I'm going to press the tools button and the very first thing I'm going to do and you can you probably should do this for any of your resin printers before you even attempt to start a print is to make sure that um, the LCD is functioning correctly and as this printer you can see has an 
LCD test button here. So I'm going to zoom back out just a little bit here so you can see the LCD. I'm going to press the LCD test and as you can see I'm getting a solid black or solid purple square all the way across. Ooh, look at that beautiful LED array. Very cool. Now I'm going to go back. To, okay, the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be leveling the build plate. So before we do anything, I need to get into the box of tools that was sent and looks like there's an Allen wrench in there along with some extra screws and again the little pads that go on the bottom of the um, printer. I still need to put those on there. So in order to just let's follow direction. So this this will uh, really one the really nice thing about the uh, the Sonic Mini is it will walk you through on how to level the printer. So what we'll do is we'll press the Z calibration button here and here's a list of instructions. Okay, the instructions tell us take off the resin vat, for which we did. Look at that cool resin vat. It's look at the cool resin vat. It's clear. Take off the resin vat, which we did. The next step, put one piece of paper on the LCD. Done. Next thing, unscrew four screws on the build platform. Okay, I'll show you right here. There are one, two, three, four screws. I am going to loosen these. Looks like they're already loosened just a little bit. And, all right, so it looks like we got lots of nice play in the build platform. And the next step is to press the so it looks like rip, the next step is press the next button. So press the next button. Please wait till the build platform moves down to the bottom. So as you can see, it looks like there's a Z in stop. Oh, it looks like there's a um, some type of a this plastic. It looks like a plastic piece that inserts through the bottom in there, and that's where the looks like where the Z in stop is. All right, now it says tighten four screws. Make sure paper is unmovable. Click done to finish calibration. They look like they're... Okay, the paper is tight. Looks like I can pull evenly. I cannot push back, but I can pull evenly. Again, this is a lot similar to uh, some of the other resin printers. When I'm done, I just click the done button. Please wait till the build platform moves back up to the top. And apparently that is all there is to it with leveling the build platform.
Hey guys, thanks again for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Frozen Sonic Mini. Guys, this is just an amazing printer. I mean, look at some of the models that this thing has, uh, has produced. I mean, there's a Dark Knight character. I printed it in four hours, okay? Four hours compared to six and a half or seven and a half hours for, for other resin printers. That's unheralded in the world of inexpensive 3D resin printers. I mean, you can print with any types of resin, whether that's SLA, DLP. Now, your SLA resins, they're going to take a little bit longer to cure, but it opens the door to all kinds of resins, you know, castable resins. This printer is amazing. If you are just getting into 3D printing, for 200 bucks, you cannot beat this. If you are a 3D printer veteran and you want a second printer, again, this is a no-brainer for 199 bucks. You get a monochrome LCD that'll last you 2,000 hours, three times the amount that you would normally see with an RGB LCD screen. This thing is super fast. I mean, you've got solid aluminum railing on here. The build quality is off the charts. Again, I cannot say enough about this. Again, I was sent this printer by Frozen to test. I did not realize that it was not available yet, but it will be. And as soon as it becomes available, I will post a short video to 3D Print Farm letting you know that this printer is available for purchase. What you have to do is promise me you will click that subscribe button just so you'll know when this guy comes out. I know a lot of you are already subscribers and I really appreciate that. But if you're interested in this at all, please hit that subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified immediately as soon as this dude goes on because I think this guy is gonna sell out. I know it is. I'm really excited, guys. Again, thanks again for joining us here on 3D Print Farm. You guys are awesome. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer all those questions for you. Again, have a great day. We'll see you again soon on 3D Print Farm.